Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Thursday, the 4th of April. I'm Baron Fear. I hope you are ready for tonight's show. And on tonight's show, I will be talking about a few things in my opening segment tonight is on Daylight Saving Ending. Now, Daylight Saving will end on Saturday night, so, well, Sunday morning to be precise. So, before you go to bed on Saturday night, don't forget to switch your clock back one hour before going to bed on Saturday night. So, 7 o'clock. Now, when we come 6 p.m. next week. So, for those of you living in Tasmania, the ACT, Victoria, South Australia, and New South Wales, don't forget to switch your clock back one hour, and that includes Tasmania as well. And that is my opening segment about daylight saving concluding. My second topic tonight is on scrambled eggs. Now, scrambled eggs, you cannot go wrong with making scrambled eggs. Now, how do you make scrambled eggs? Well, you simply beat up a couple of eggs and then place in a non-stick frying pan and stir gently until they are scrambled. You add a bit of milk to it as well and some salt and pepper, if you wish. And what can you serve with scrambled eggs? Well, you can serve bacon with scrambled eggs, mix some chopped chop, try through this, and it makes a good breakfast. A nice hearty breakfast to start the day. So, so, um, if you're wanting to have a hearty breakfast on the weekend, then perfect scrambled eggs on a couple of toasted buttered muffins in perfect weekend breakfast. Or when you don't have to rush, you can go to work or school. Now, what do you think of scrambled eggs? And and you can off you can put some chopped tomatoes in the mixture as well and also when you can have an omelet for breakfast as well for with uh, with eggs and you and not go wrong with eggs. They are so versatile, you can post them, fry them, hard boil them, soft boil them, even make them on sandwiches, for sandwiches. Uh, and you can, and you can even add a fried egg to fried rice. Now, if you've ever made fried rice before, well, that one, that's what goes with the fried rice and an egg. Now, mushrooms with scrambled eggs, again, you cannot go wrong. And mushrooms are great too. 
I'll say. Now, a series fast approaching, guys, so the thing that my offsider and I would like to say to you tonight is please take it easy out on the roads and don't use them as racetracks because you are putting other people lives at risk by doing something that is illegal on the road and double the number of points I'm going to be in place to over the Easter break. They start on the 18th of April or the 19th of April, which is two weeks today, and they conclude on Easter Monday at midnight. So, the rules are if you Use your mobile phone and don't wear your seatbelt. Exceed the speed limit. Drink and drive. Ah, uh -uh. this is an accident waiting to happen here, guys. So please be considerate with one another, or well, to one another on the road, and what and. If you drink and drive, come on guys, don't risk moving the one and only life that you have because your family are waiting at home for you and you don't want the police bringing that. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't want the police bringing up and saying that there's been a horror crash. So please, my offsider and I can't say this enough. You only have the one life, so why waste it by doing something stupid? It's not worth the risk. And to close the program tonight, we welcome in some new staff and I hope that they enjoy their shift and we welcome in our, the new client who's already here. But to close the show tonight, I'd like to remind everybody to not ring triple zero unless it is time critical. I've always brought this up on the show. So please don't be a fool with triple zero. It's not a number that you will bring every day to spend general inquiries. And this is where I'd like to finish the show off by saying, please, Triple O is only there for emergencies. Don't be an idiot with it. And, and this is where I'd like to close the program by saying, by all means, if you need to call an ambulance in an emergency, go ahead. But but don't be a fool with that number. Would you agree? Absolutely. Because you are taking away the service that someone really needs. And that's all from me for this Thursday night here at Oceana. And just a reminder before I leave you. Next Sunday is the Saturday night favorite show at the Lyric Theatre. It is going to be a great outing and we look forward to telling you about it after the show. And also, Easter is coming up as well on the 19th. 
So I'm going to big is the show to bring you and many other shows. But that's all from me for this Thursday night. I'm Barry Fair. Thanks for your company this evening on the show. And I look forward to your company next time on the show. But until then, you take care, everyone. And I will catch you next time. Good night. And thanks for watching. Good night.